about myself to start it off here. Uh, I'm, I'm married. Uh, I have four children. Uh, yeah. Four boys. Uh, yeah, apparently I like to read sex with my wife like the American military treats the Middle East. There's a lot of lies about pulling out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> The hard part, if you don't have kids, you get no time to yourself, right? You get no time to just relax with your thoughts. I used to wonder why it took my dad 45 minutes to take a shit. Now I know. <laughs> I'd rather sit in that tiny room with a stench of my own filth and deal what's outside that goddamn door. <laughs> I can't be intimate with my wife. I've got a sexual SWAT team kicking the door in every two minutes, you know? Can't even take care of myself. I don't have a lock on her bathroom door. I can do that away from the house. So maybe we'll hear about some guy who gets busted jerking off in a Denny's. Maybe it's not some sick, disgusting pervert. Maybe it's just a good dad. <laughs> but my wife goes too far the other way. She doesn't want anything in the house that she thinks is going to promote uh, violence or any kind of uh, violent behavior, you know? And I have four boys. It doesn't matter what I... I can hand them four Barbies, and they're like, Blonde nunchucks! Woo! <laughs> beat the shit out of each other with whatever I give them. But there's no violent uh, movies allowed in our house. I get that. No violent video games. Okay, fine. Um, no toys that she thinks is going to promote violence like uh, toy swords or uh, definitely no toy guns. She doesn't even allow water pistols or squirt guns. And I don't agree with her decision, but I want to bang her sometimes. So I respect her decision. <laughs> I'll be honest though, when she's not around, my boy's favorite game to play with me is cops and robbers, but we don't have anything to house to play with, so we gotta just do this. So it's like, bang, 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 I got you, Dad, I'm the guy, you got me. I'm like, do not tell mom. <laughs> so my kids start in kindergarten, the first day of school. All the parents were there. We all chatted a little bit and got to know each other. And so the kids got to know each other. The teacher had them all come up in front of the class and talk about what their favorite thing they did over the summer was. This little girl gets up. She goes, I got these crazy like Grandma Grandpa. Daddy's swimming pool and I got these swimming every day and it was great. This little boy came up and he said, I went to Disneyland. I met Mickey Mouse and it was amazing. Then my son came up and said, My favorite part of this summer was the secret finger bang game I'll play with my dad. <laughs> minutes for two years straight and then repay your love and patience and kindness by taking a shit to your bare hand? No, then shut up. <laughs> it's weird. The people have a fantasy about what it's going to be like to be a parent. And it is nothing close to reality, is it? And it's always the same type of person like, you yeah, know, you know, when I have children, when I have children, my children are all going to watch learning programs, they're going to watch documentaries, educational television, things that grow their mind. Let me tell you something else. After three years of not sleeping, you don't care. You want the kid to shut up. You're like, what is this, Cape Fear? Good, sit down. You're going to learn something. Learn to fuck with the wrong man. Daddy is having a nap and shut it. It is hard. If you don't have kids, get on it. But it's hard. It's hard. It's hard on a relationship, too. Man, it is hard on a relationship to have kids. Like, if you have parents that got divorced and they had to tell you it wasn't you, I'm here to tell you it was a little bit you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to be a goddamn adult to apologize to them. They were traveling around the world, going out for dinner all the time, banging on the kitchen counter. You showed up and fucked it all up. You need to understand that. Yeah. It's hard, man. It is hard on a relationship to have kids. But, you know, you got to understand, and if you're, if you're young and you're, you know, thinking of getting married, you got to realize 
it's not always going to be smooth. You're not always going to like each other. I'm not talking like, we didn't talk for a whole weekend. I'm talking years where you don't like each other. I remember telling my wife before, I'm like, I hate coming home. She's like, I hate it when you're home. I was like, touche, okay? <laughs> but let me tell you something else. Once you get through that you, and you get to the other side of that, you have a way better understanding of each other, what each other needs in the relationship. You have to go through that kind of stuff to really kind of get to know each other. People give up too easily nowadays. My wife and I are in a fantastic point right now. We had a lot of hard years. Now we're in a great place. When we're alone, we're really there for each other. She'll, you know, we'll like role play. She'll dress up like a sexy librarian or a cheerleader. I'll dress up like somebody with good credit that gets her hot. <laughs> Man, I've never even lived with a woman before I got married. I'd recommend it. <laughs> There's so many things I didn't know. Like, I didn't know the side of the bed I picked was my side for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I just jumped in one day. <laughs> then I did think about it. You know what I realized? I didn't get to pick. <laughs> get to sleep? Closest to the door for when the psycho killer comes in. <laughs> and then she'll buy me like uh, for like a buck a jug of like it's a face wash, hair wash, body wash, car wash. And you can just... <laughs> still has secrets. Did you know that, guys? Your woman still has secrets. She still, they still hold their cards close to their chest. Like, did you know that your woman does an impression of you and it's not fucking flattering? Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> like, she has a voice that she does for you when she's telling a story about you to your friends. And you can be the most charming, intelligent guy in the world. You can be like, sweetheart, listen. I know we don't see eye to eye on this, but let's just agree to disagree and move forward from a place of love. What do you say, baby? And then she tells the story to her friend, and she's like, and then he said, what are you doing? 